Okie dokie. So, um, tonight I'm going to do um, somebody, I don't remember exactly, it could have been like Crimson993 or I don't even know if that's the right one, it's Crimson is in the name, said that they wanted um, something done on um, the Oak and Holly King because it's getting so close to um, Yule that we should we should do some Yule themed things. Um, and like I said, I have no clue if it was Crimson or somebody else. But somebody did it. Somebody asked for it. So I'm going to answer. Um, so the Oak and Holly King. Um, basically, um, I have my little paper here. Um, we did, um, we used to do classes um, in our coven. And I've got this little thing that we, um, we did on Yule uh, last year, the class, um, and we did a little thing on the Oak and Holly King. So um, here goes what I learned, or what I taught about um, the Oak and Holly King. Um, the Oak and Holly King myth is one of the main myths um, surrounding Yule in most Wiccan traditions. Um, holly is an evergreen um, that can survive the harsh, cold uh, winter, uh, and it represents the winter tide. Um, the King of Holly is the Winter King um, and Lord of the Waning Year, and he represents death. Um, I hope I'm staying in the camera. What? You're weird. Um, he represents death, Lord of the Waning Year. Um, the oak is the leafy deciduous tree, like you know, those big oak trees. That's um, the Oak King is like that kind of one, and he represents the full power of the summer months, like the warmer times. Um, Lord of the Waxing Year, and that's this is the Oak King now, um, and it's a time when the life light grows, and he represents life. So, the Holly King represents death, and the Oak King represents life, and um, witches like to reenact the battle of the Oak and Holly King. Um, at Yule celebrations and stuff like that, and it's like, it's, oh my god, I hope I'm not rubbing off my eyebrows. That would be terrible. Um, it's usually, they usually reenact the battle, and around, um, Christmas time, um, or Yule time, since Yule is a time when the sun returns, it's, um, the longest night of the year, and then after that, the coming days get longer, longer, longer. Um, the Oak King wins, and it's it's a symbol of the returning of the light kind of thing. Um, just like when in the um, um, summer solstice, I believe it is. Is it the summer solstice? Maybe. I don't know the other one. I just know that this is the time when the Oak King wins. So you could like basically get a bunch of people together and then make an Oak King and a Holly King and have them slay each other and the Oak King wins. So that is my little thing on the Oak and Holly King. That is the best amount of information I could possibly give you that was in my head and that I could possibly think of when I wrote it down. So if you have any more information about the Oak and Holly King, please um, put it in the comments down there, um, make response videos, do that kind of stuff so we can learn more about the Oak and Holly King. Um, if you have any other information about Yule, because we will have more videos coming about Yule, like, you know, little craft ideas and stuff like that, and we'll show you our Yule tree soon. We never showed it to you last year. Last year we made butterfly garlands, for because our symbol of, the, um, of our coven is butterfly. This year we made butterfly ornaments that we just threw all over the tree. So, um, that was the video, that was my video on the Oak and Holly King. So, uh, blessed be.